What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are bringing back an old starter favorite. We are rocking out with Empoleon, not just any Empoleon, the new and improved Empoleon, competitive, a new ability that it now learns. You guys are in a new deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. I want to give a huge shout out to my boy Evan. Evan, thank you so much for leaving this team in my Twitter DMs. Super excited to be showcasing Empoleon. If you guys do have regulation E teams featuring new or returning Pokemon, make sure you get them to me. My Twitter link is down in the description below. If you don't have Twitter, drop a little comment in the comment section down below. But Empoleon's so cool. Like I said, new ability from competitive, which works out so well considering it always had Defiant. But now that it has competitive, it works out better considering it, it is a special attacker. So everything works out perfect for Empoleon. Hopefully we get to rock out with him and showcase him to his fullest potential. But this team features the Dragonite and Shen Pao combo, our first two Pokemon for today's team preview. Not going to go over it too much considering that is a staple right there. Everything is pretty simple, pretty standard. You guys seen it plenty of times before. Our third Pokemon is going to be Tornadus, another Pokemon you guys have seen plenty of times before, but this one's rocking the Mental Herb with Bleak Wind Storm, Sunny Day, Taunt, and Tailwind. In our fourth slot, we got Fluttermane over here, and Fluttermane, with the choice specs, everybody knows hits like a truck. It's got Protosynthesis with Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, Moon Blast, and Shy Shock. In our fifth slot is going to be the star of the show, Competitive Empoleon. A big favorite for a lot of people. It has Assault Vest as item, and then rocking a great move set of Hydro Pump for Stab, Flash Cannon for Stab, Icy Wind for Speed Control, and then we're also rocking Weather Ball in case we want to pop that Sunny Day with Tornadus. We'll have a great move to actually rock out with Empoleon with. In our final slot, we got Rillaboom. I should say the new and improved Rillaboom because this Pokemon is super, super strong. It's got Grassy Surge with Life Orb, Grassy Glide, U Turn, High Horsepower, and Fake Out. Guys, if you want to rent this team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that double ladder, let's grab some wins and showcase Empoleon in some double battles. We're loading into our first casual match for today's video, and I am looking for Infernape and Torterra teams. Want to showcase the starters, everybody loves the starters, but we're starting off here with Empoleon. The first match has been found, so let's see who we're going up against. Pretty cool team, rocking out with some brand new Pokemon, but of course they have Calyrex, right? Shadow Rider Calyrex. Pokemon's OP. I hate going up against legendaries, but I like beating legendaries. They also have Tinkaton, Ursaluna in the Blood Moon form, and then they have that Macha Sinistee, I forget its name, and then Crawdon, who I believe is new to DLC, which is a really cool Pokemon. And then last but not least, they're rocking out with Tornadas. So how should we play this one? How should we get after it? I definitely want to see Empoleon, because he is one of the coolest looking starters of all time. A Steel Emperor Penguin with a Trident face mask? Come on, man doesn't get better than that 178 special attack hp's up to 191 which i love speed's decent could be better but i absolutely love this pokemon especially with the salt vest love it with the salt vest so who should we lead how should we get after it? we could go Rillaboom. i feel as Rillaboom is just such a great lead here and i could also go in with shen now i believe both of them are going to be very solid for leads then we can bring empoleon in the back end alongside with choice specs fluttering everything still seems to work out perfectly with that and we get rocking out from there but the only thing i really don't know about is the new Sinus Matcha. I don't even know. I'm just going to call it Matcha. It's the Matcha Pokemon. I don't really know its typing. I don't really know its stats. All that good stuff. But hey, we're here to showcase Empoleon. I would love to grab some wins for you guys with it. And I got to check my monitor. Did I turn the brightness down? I did. I have to turn the brightness down on my monitor every time I record. Just so like the uh, the effects of the game isn't just flashing in my face and making my face came all wonky. So I was just making sure there. But yeah, thank you guys so much for everybody who has sent in teams. We're going to try to use everybody's team. Really, I'm trying to get after, but we do have a decent amount of teams. I do have a shift tree team coming up here. Huge shout out to whoever sent me the shift tree team. Don't have your name popped up, but I was reading the message earlier. Uh, we got Snorlax team coming, but I definitely want to get my hands on an Inferno team, a Torterra team, and like the main Pokemon that are like the coolest out of all of them. So that's why we're showcasing Empoleon today. They end up going into the lovely Tinkaton. And I'm curious to see if this rule boom is faster than that Tinkaton, which it could be, or its speed could be low. It's 130. That should be able to outspeed Tinkaton. So I'm going to fake out the Tinkaton here. And on top of that, I think I just ice up crash, right? I think I just ice up crash. And then potentially I could U turn out and go into Empoleon, which I would love. I would adore that. I would definitely adore that. But not going to lie, a sunny day would be huge with Empoleon right now. I love how it has competitive. It's just, it's just such a beautiful sight. 
Because it always had Defiant, and then you were forced to go into more so like a, uh, a physical build for him. But then his physical moves were really lackluster. So, it was kind of tough. It was kind of tough to rock out with it. At least in the past when I used it. But I never really used it in actual competitive. I only used it in, like, casual stuff, like in BDSP. Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, which was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun recording those videos, and you guys liked it a lot. This thing, of course, is Cobra Cloak. That is massive. And he goes for the Gigaton Hammer and just rips it in me. It's a big time Cobra Cloak comes out here. Um, They could swap to an They could go into Tailwind if they want to. I think from here, we could just go into Grass Guide, or I can U-Turn Pivot. Grass Guide's going to do a little bit of damage. I think we just go High Horsepower and take a ton. Like to deal some damage and just go for an ice crash. I could definitely protect, but if Shen Pao goes down, Shen Pao goes down. Not really looking to showcase Shen Pao. It's, you guys have seen it plenty of times. Just looking to have a strong team with Empoleon on it. So I really just want to get Empoleon out here. Like I said, I think Sinnoh, the Gen 4, has some of the best starters. Like, I feel like everybody loves all the starters. Like, most most generations, especially the newer ones, like, okay, I like two, I like three. I don't really like this one, but like, Sinnoh's like, okay. You can't go wrong with all three. I feel like the older generations are kind of like that, right? Gen 1, you can't go wrong with. Gen 2, you can't go wrong with any of them. A lot, even though a lot of people don't really like Meganium. I do like Meganium. It's like a dinosaur. I'm a big fan of dinosaurs. Um, Gen 3, bangers all around. Swamp or place you can set dial. Gen 4, bangers. Gen 5 is where you get a little wacky. I don't really like Emboar. I know a lot of people like Emboar. I don't really like it that much. Gen 6, Delphox, eh. But he ends up tearing the- oh wow, we put it down to 1, death, one HP, it's Sash. He ends up tearing the uh, Tornadas, which is fine by me. And he has an eject button, so was it really a point? Wait, so you weren't even sashed. You just got a free focus sash, and you eject button out. So that's fine. He ends up eject buttoning out, getting no value out of his Tornadas, really. And he's gonna go in the crawl on who I love to see. High horsepower, we're gonna get cooking here, and we dump on you. We dump on you. Hmm. So we get rid of you, and obviously, this is an easy call to just grassy glide in a crawl on. But I really want to use Empoleon here in match number one, so I might just U turn the. Uh, I might just U turn the Will Boom. Crawl might even protect. Let's see who they go into, because Crawl a little scary. Yeah, that thing hits like a truck with Crab Hammer, and I believe it learns adaptability. So this thing he comes to play. Crawl comes to play. He ain't messing around. So let's see if they go back into Tornados to showcase their final Pokemon. And they just go back into two Tornados, and you guys might just saw I just spilled a nice glob of water on me. Lovely. Just lovely. But from here, I'm just going to U-turn out of here. I'm just going to protect Shen Pao. I could definitely see like a Tailwind coming out here and maybe him attacking Shen Pao, or probably just protecting the on. That's why I want to target down the, uh, the Tornados. But he ends up protecting Tornados. That is wild. We're gonna get no value out of this turn. I wonder who he's going after. So I really just wanna I, I really just wanna get Empoleon out here. You know this lead is beautiful. Aqua Jets can come out here. It's going to block that. And again, I can grass guide all day. I can win this battle, no problem. I can easily win this battle. Just by going into a simple grassy glide. But again, I want to have some fun with this one. We're just going to U-turn, and we are just going to, uh... We're just going to sucker punch the on just to chip up some damage. Just to chunk up some damage. Actually, sucker punch should have come out before the Crawdon's shot. I, I don't really care if these Pokemon go down here. I have this match locked up. This match is locked up. Sucker punch can come out here. Do a decent amount of damage. Again, Grassy Guy could have carried that all day. And he's just gonna Aqua Gem KO me. That's fine. This could have been a simple sweep with, with new and improved Rillaboom and Shen Pao. It could have been so easy for us. <clears throat> but he ends up still not popping the tail. And he goes for Bleak Wind Storm, which we should soak. We don't soak. That's fine. I, again, I really, I really don't care. We can, we're gonna win this match. No doubt in my mind, we win this match. No doubt in my mind. So now I got Empoleon. I still have Terror Type. And I got Choice Spec. It's just a lovely sight. It's a beautiful sight. It's a beautiful sign. Bring it out and pull out. Look at him, yo. I love his design. It's designed so tough. It's so tough. Water Mane's coming out here. Now let's clean up this match. Now, now let's wrap this one up. 
So from here, I'm just going to choice into a moon blast, and on top of that, I think it's just a nice little flash can you can take out the uh, the tornadus. Tornadus might even protect. You never know, but I feel it's worth thriving. We got some speed cooking here. Even if you go into Tailwind with Tornadus and hit me hard with Crawdon, we're fine. We're, we're thriving. This is just this this game. This match is too easy. Match cake. A win this one, no problem. Just really did not want to sweep with Robo Boom and Shen Pao because I'm telling you guys now, the meta like that's that's going to be a staple in the meta. Robo Boom's so OP now with Grassy Glide back in action. No. Dynamax is, isn't here, so it just makes Rillaboom so much better. He was so powerful in the last game. And he ends up Aqua Jetting me, which did a crazy amount of damage. Actually, did an absurd amount of damage. And Moon Blast going to get cooked in there. So Moon Blast going to take out Crawdon. And I would love for a 1v1 to finish this up with it and pull me out. That'd be tough. And he's going to go for a Bleak Windstorm. Who's dodging that? And Polyon dodges. So it turns into a 1v1 because Empoleon's just going to KO. The, the Tornadus here, and we got a 1v1 match here, which I love. I love it. I love it. Like I said, trying to showcase Empoleon. Let's try to win this one with it. I wonder who their final Pokemon is, though. Could be the Matcha. Could be Blood Moon. I actually kind of hope it is Blood Moon, because then it's ground and normal. And I can always tear the fairy. Let's see who it is. You got cooking here. Could be Blood Moon. Okay, so we're going to tear the fairy because we know it is ground, right? Yeah, it's ground and normal, and I'm not dealing with the ground moves. I'm just going to terrestrialize here, and I'm going to rip a Hydra Pump right in this dude's mid. Right after. Going right after. And I love the Steel Typing that we have. Steel Typing is awesome. And it is special attack, and we do have Assault Vest. Our special defense is pretty solid. We go into a nice little Fairy Terror here. A nice, lovely Fairy Terror with the Empoleon. Looking to win this matchup here. We do outspeed. We land a Hydra Pump, which is gorgeous. And we one-shot it all day. So, like I said, we could have won that match way easier than we did, but we want to showcase Empoleon. And this thing clutches up in the back end. So, match number one goes to us. Let's go hop to a second. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against an Ogre Pond team. And it is the Fire Ogre Pond, so Empoleon can thrive out here pretty well. It's going to be super effective onto the Flutter Main with Flash Cannon, the Heatran, Landers, and Ogre Pond with Hydra Pump. Loving it all around. Really like an Empoleon here. So we're going to be bringing it in here. Maybe not leading it. Actually, I could lead it. Considering if they go into Intimidate, that can work out pretty well for us. So I am going to go into Empoleon. And on top of that, I think I'm just going to go into Flutter Moon. Nice little Flutter Moon lead. Works out pretty solid here. Or I could go Rillaboom. Rillaboom could be great here. Especially with Fake Out. Yeah, we're going to go Rillaboom alongside with Empoleon. We're going to bring Shen Pao in the back end. And then do we go Dragonite? Or do we go in with Choice Spec Flutter Moon? And I'm thinking Dragonite, yo. First turn priority, gonna be beautiful. They have no terrain to kind of stop it. I'm all about it. I am all about it. So Empoleon and Rillaboom coming out here for the lead. Got to showcase Empoleon a little bit in match number one. Trying to showcase it a bit more here in match number two. So let's get thriving. Let's get thriving. I wonder who they're gonna lead. They got a pretty cool team. Pretty cool team. I actually don't think they have any regulation E Pokemon. Oh, Ogre. They have Ogre. Pokemon. And they're gonna end up leading. Bang, let's go. Landorus going to probably intimidate me, trigger my competitive, which is massive, and we'll go from here. We shall go from here. Intimidate, yes sir. Give me that plus two special attack boost. Big time plays for us. The real boom stats are going to drop, that's fine. From here, I'm thinking I'm just ripping a Hydro Pump in the slot, right? I could definitely Terrasalize you, and I think I am going to Terrasalize you in the Fairy. I like the fairy typing. Works out perfectly, especially with who we're reversing. And I can just fake out the Iron Hand just so he doesn't fake us out. But I'm going to Terrasalize and pull on turn one. Reason being, I don't want us being weak to the ground shots. Don't want us being weak to the fighting moves. And pulling on chill. We get this nice lovely tower, especially up against both these guys. And it's plus two on special attacks. So this thing is ready to hit like a truck. Not playing around. He ends up protecting. That's fine. That's fine. So he kind of knows what I'm doing. I am going to fake out the Iron Hands. And we're just going to go from there. We are just going to go from there. Plus, it protects me from the electric move. So, Hydro Pump is going to miss. I think I'm going to Hydro Pump into the Iron Hand slot, to be honest with you. And just glow, Grassy Glide maybe over onto the... Uh... Actually, I should U-turn Pivot. I probably should U-turn out, now that we're minus one. But from here, he's either going to Terrastalize or... I think he's going to Terrastalize. So, you know, I'm just going to U-turn out here. 
I'm gonna need to turn out. I'm dipping. I'm dipping. I'm out of here. But I think he might terrasalize into flying potentially here. Yeah. This little terror comes out here. Water terror. That's fine. Wow, I could have grass gotten in that slot. That would be beautiful. And now you turn out. That hurts soul. Really does hurt soul. So U-turn's gonna come out here. Wow, because grass glide. Could be beautiful. So U-turn pivot here. Um, I, I wonder what move he's going for. To be honest, I couldn't tell you. Could be a flying move. Could be a ground move. Um, I think going in Dragon Knight's probably your best bet, right? Yeah, I can go Dragon Knight. I can get down for some Dragon Knight. Maybe just choice in the outrage. Maybe E speed. We'll see. Stop potential can come out here. I mean, we are going for stop potential, which I'm able to sue. Hydro Pump's going to connect. It's plus two. It's able to hit really hard, and it does. It's rather hard. Thunder Punch comes through here, and my Empoleon's able to soak. <coughs> so, Empoleon's able to soak. I might hard swap it here. Do I hard swap it? Because it does outspeed me. It does outspeed me. I might hard swap it in the real boom. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hard swap it in the real boom, and I'm just gonna go for a stomping tantrum into this uh, Iron Hands. So I'm gonna save my lovely Empoleon. I believe he's going for probably another stomping tantrum <clears throat> into the real boom slot. And I could totally be fine. No, you go for Rock Slide. Corner to play. Gonna be super effective off my Dragonite. Dragonite gets a stomping tantrum off. Is this gonna KO? Choice ban? Does. Cool. So we're able to KO. I might end up hard swapping the Dragonite now, but I can always just Grass God into. I can always just grass guide into this uh this landers who I think is gonna actually protect this turn. I think he's gonna end up protecting. Urshfu comes out here. Oh, I can also grass guide into that. That's actually dark Urshfu. You know, I'm just gonna fake this out. I'm just gonna fake him out and on top of that, just go for a stompy tantrum. Some choice into that. Over onto you, right? Yeah, you're not flying anymore. You were not flying, but I can one-shot you any day of the week. I'm just going to double down with the Urshfu. Because again, I think Lando protects. <coughs> I really do think Lando protects. And if he doesn't, we get the fake out onto the Urshifu, and my Pokemon can survive this turn. Actually, maybe not Dragonite. You detect him. Double protect? Double protect. Okay. That's cool by me. That's cool by me. So fake out and stop the cancer goes in this slot. I might end up swapping Dragonite this turn. Just to reset his choice. But Grassy Guide for sure into the into the Lando slot. For sure. Right now. Yeah, we're Grassy Guide for sure. For sure. So I'll Grassy Guide look to pick up the KO. Do that and Do I swap at this point? Because I could pick up a KO and I could just force Empoleon to die out here. Which I mean would not be bad. Yeah, I think we're gonna sacrifice the penguin. We gotta sacrifice the penguin for the, for the win, for the win. They, they get off some value with a nice little hydro pump, but we have to sacrifice the penguin right now. So he ends up withdrawing too. Okay, he end up withdrawing. He's gonna go into this real question. Pokemon, you cook him. Could be Heatran who is money, and the penguin comes out here, and I might have to end up choosing again into <laughs> into stopping tantrum. That's a great swap. This is such a good battle. Such a great battle. Grass Guy's going to do about one damage. And he's going to go for a wicked blow and just KO the penguin. So the penguin's gone. The penguin is gone. They do not have Terra anymore. And at this point, what is my play? At this point, what is my play? Hmm. So our opponent's playing actually really good here. So grass train's gone. Can't grass guide anymore. Um, I could go into Shen Pao. Hmm. Again, they don't have Terra. I'm just gonna go into Dragon it here. No choice to an outreach. I'm gonna go high horsepower into an outreach. I'm ready to hit hard. 
Wicked blow comes out here. Can you soak this? You do. I love you. I was going to say, I think you should be able to soak one up. High horsepower comes through, picks up KO, and outrage. Oh, we get a crit too. Lovely. Lovely. It was four times super effective too. So he turn drops out here. Outrage should do an insane amount of damage here. And just bring you down the one. Are you Sash? You're just lucky. You're Sash. Nice little Sash comes out here. So sacrificing the penguin was a pretty good call for us. I would love to get Grassy turning back out here, but it is tough. So now you go back into him. Um, inner focus comes out here. I might just swap the robot here. No, because you're going to double down in my real room. You're going rock slide. Mm, yeah, this is tough. I'm going to try to U-turn. Smart play by him. Smart, smart play. This match is coming down. I really want to swap. I really want to swap. Wow, U-turn would have been a great play. But he's going to U-turn out here. Oh, no, you leave my real boom alive. I'm surprised you didn't go for rock slide. No rock slide coming in here. So no rock slizzle. Now from here, I can sucker punch. Yeah, I can sucker punch the Urshifu. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I can sucker punch the Urshifu. I outspeed that all day. And I can just stick with Grass Guy. Grass Guy still hits. It's still a solid move without the train. And I kind of like this. So sacrificing the Penguin was a solid play for us. It seems to be working out. It seems to be working out. But definitely want to use a little bit more match number three. Just trying to use it in all the battles. But I'm telling you guys, this Rillaboom is going to... It's just gonna be meta. It's 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 a it's oh it's gonna be OP. It's it already is. It's so powerful, ridiculous. And to be honest, I thought taking out Grass Guy made this made Roman perfect. I thought it made it perfectly balanced. And now they decide to add it back in. But I end up sucker punching Urshfu, making some great swaps. Grass Guy's gonna come out here, going to do a huge chunk of damage, and I believe a sucker punch and another Grass Guy will finish this one off. Oop, never mind. You got the Citrus Berry. But we do outspeed it, so if you do not KO one of my Pokemon here, we're thriving. Rock Slide comes out here, and both my Pokemon are able to soak. So that is going to be game, set, match. Grass Guy can come out here. I'm just going to Sucker Punch on top of that. And battle is canceled. 2 0. Long drawn out second match. We get to showcase and pull on a little bit more. Final match on its way, going up against Ogre Pond and the Matcha Sinistee. Yet again, they also have the Roll Boom. They got Urshfu rocking out with Fluttermane and Shen Pao. Definitely want to use Empoleon again. Love this Pokemon so much. Going to be rocking out with them. And do I lead him? Potentially, right? He's super effective onto a few. I really do like its typing. I like everything about him. Um, who do I go into here? I could go Shen Pao Arcanine. But you know what? I'm going to lead Empoleon. I think we're going to go Empoleon and Roll Boom. Really do just like that lead. We can fake out. We can really get after it that way. So I'm going to end up leading both of these Pokemon. So leading both of them. Going to bring Fluttermane in the back end? Maybe. I think we just go Dragonite Shen Pao. Make this one simple. Look for that perfect record. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Empoleon, Robum. I actually really like that lead. I like that lead a lot. Because Empoleon can hit pretty hard. It's typing straight up against Fluttermane's all that good stuff. And then on top of that, you got Robum with first turn priority. And you get some fake out. Action, so can't go wrong with it. So let's see who they end up leading. It's going to be Shen Pao and Urshifu. Okay. Now, I definitely want to go into... I definitely want to go into a, what's it called? A flash cannon a slot. But the real question is, do I fake out? I think I just fake out the Urshifu, right? I think I just fake out the Urshifu. See what it's going to do. Because it could Tarras it could do a lot. Um, actually, we might want to terrestrialize the Robum here. What's your terror type, Robum? Grass. That really sucks. That really does suck. You know, we're not even going to fake out. We're just going to go here, Flash Cannon. And I am just going to Grass Guide into Ursula. Let's see what they end up doing. They'll get off the Grass Guide. I pick up a KO. I think Iso Crash comes in the which would be totally fine. That's why I wanted to Terrasalize, but I'm straight Grass Terra. I'm straight Grass Terra. Right, so Crash does end up coming in the slot. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that all day. Because Flash Cannon's going to come out here from Empoleon and do some big time damage. We love it. And then I can bring out a Pokemon like a new Rusash, like Dragonite. And just E-Speed it down. 
So I don't mind that. Do not mind that. So yeah, if I if I had a different terror type, I definitely would terrestrialize Real Boom there. But good thing they just did not detect the what's it called. Good thing they didn't just detect the Urshfu, because then that would have been a big time turn for them. So the answer going into Ogre. Ogre Pond is fire and grass, which is kind of scary. And actually, now I can just terrestrialize my Empoleon, which works out perfectly. Throw a Hydro Pump in that slot. Cool. So I can terrestrialize, go Hydro Pump, and then on top of that, just rock E Speed and take out the Shintao. <coughs> so we'll see a Terra. Is this considered a terrestrialization? It's just a Mask Terra. It's gonna be the Hearth Flame Mask. So we straight fire now. The body aspect comes out here. I think he might be going for a grass move. So good thing I am terrestrializing here. Oh, grass move. That might KO me still. I think that's still gonna KO me. They're in the terrain too. So I end up terrestrializing Empoleon. Plus one attack. I have assault vest, which has nothing up against that. Let's see how this one plays out here. Shen Pao ends up protecting. You gotta be going maybe after Dragonite then. Let's see what they got cooking. Let's see what they're doing here. I'm curious. I'm very, very curious. I'm very curious. I'm gonna go for an Ivy Cauldron into who? Into my Empoleon. Look that dude. Oh my lord, this is OP. This is absurd. This is very absurd. Come on with that. Why is that in the game? Why do they have to add something like that? No point. There's just no point of doing that. There really isn't. There's just no point. I do not understand it. Simply don't. I simply don't. So now I bring out Shen Pao. Like, why is it got to be OP? And that kind of sucks for Empoleon because he's steel and water, so it would, it would have been neutral damage. But from here, Sucker Punch would probably do more than... Yeah, we're just going to do Sucker Punch here. And let's stick with E-Speed. The first time priority is going to be the best friend. I am Sash, which is beautiful. I do have multi-scale. Actually, am I inner focus? I think I'm inner focus. But this Ogre Pond, man. Insanely strong. He ends up with Straw and Shen Pao. Which I mean, it's fine. Whoever's hopping here is taking some meat E-Speed damage. Unless it's fun, I mean. No, it's going to be real big. So E-Speed's going to fly here. It's doing half damage, which we love here. Sucker Punch coming in hot here. Doing half damage, which we love. Probably going for another Ivy Cordial. And he does... And you're gonna go after him. What is this? Why? Why is it? Why is it so OP? Why is it so strong? But I mean, he can fake me out. So I'm gonna have to just protect you, and I'm gonna just gonna go from E speed into into Ogre Pot. We need, we need, we need this thing dead. We need this thing gone. Why is this thing so strong? Why? Why is this thing a god? Absurd. Like, I thought we were done with the whole Zassian thing. It was just like a Pokemon's insanely strong can one-shot anything. Now we got this thing. Like, plus one, a free plus one attack boost is absurd. So I end up protecting Gen Tower, hoping the fake out's coming in this slot. We really are. And he has a, what a good call, spiky shield. This thing has such a good move set. It really does. Fake out is coming in that slot, so that actually allows us to get another turn with with Dragonite. Unless I die to spiky shield, but there's no way it's doing like 30, 40 damage here, right? How much damage is that doing? Okay, did we just live on one? I'll take that all day. Was that one HP for us? I'll take it all day. We live on one. I love this game. <laughs> So from here, Sucker Punch should KO you. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Sucker Punch you, and I'm just going to E-Speed you? Yeah. E-Speed might not even KO, which could be bad news. This match is close. Ends up withdrawing the Ogre Pond. Smart play by him. Going into Shen Pao. We need to E-Speed the KO, because if E-Speed KOs, then we can E-Speed the Shen Pao. We start getting after it. Can you KO? Dude, 1 HP, bro. <laughs> Why? This game. I get I just survived on 1 HP, but oh, they end up going after you. That actually keeps us in the game. A lot of 1 HP going on here, ladies and gents. A lot of 1 HP. A bit too much 1 HP. He's going to take some recoil and die out to that. All right, all right. Okay, so... 
What do I do? <laughs> this is so tough. I'm definitely e speeding into Shen Pao. That's an absolute must. I could 100% see a spiky shield come out from Ogre Pond here. So I'm thinking I'm just protecting my Shen Pao. Just so I don't die to spiky shield, right? So protect. E speed. Let's make it happen. He's got to be going for spiky shield here. This is so tough. We could have just sucker punched it, but I, I got to make a read here. Because if I sucker punch it and he goes into spiky shield, I, I lose. I die out to that. This is such a good match. Coming down to the wire. Down to the wire. Show me Spiky Shield. I know you're going for Spiky Shield. I don't even have to think about it. Do you not? I, I, I think it's, it's got it, right? You gotta go for Spiky Shield. You don't go for Spiky Shield. You don't go for Spiky Shield. So he KO is real question. Oh, you went after him. Beautiful. I'll take that protect. I'll take that turn all day. So now. Now I got to protect you. Because the reason I got to protect Shen Pao is. If he goes for spiky shield, <laughs> which he could, but my Pokemon will die out if I both attack. So by protecting one or just letting one not move and letting the other one hit, it kind of helps us out here. And they just cancel battle instead of just going for spiky shield. So. GG's, we go 3-0. Great set of matches for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 record with the brand new Empoleon showcasing in today's video. Absolutely love this Pokemon. Cannot wait to get my hands on the Torterra and Infernape team to showcase the rest of the Sinnoh starters. But Empoleon, super cool Pokemon. Great typing with the new ability competitive. Really can't go wrong with it. I expect to see it more and more used on the rank ladder. So, going to be really, really cool. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.